Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Chapter 3, Lecture 6 of International Law. Uh, this uh, chapter is also very important. Uh, it relates about subjects of international law. Uh, we shall discuss the subjects of international law in detail. But before that, uh, we put before you uh, the question repeated in uh, previous exams of CSS and TMS. Uh, the question is that define international law please also discuss the subjects of international law in the light of latest development in the field of international law the same has been repeated uh, in previous years uh, such as 2002 2005 uh, 2010 2011 2013 and 2018 uh, intro of this uh, uh, question or a lecture is that international law is basically concerned with the rights and duties of interstates and the uh, states and international institutes uh, and organs etc. Generally the prescribed rules of conduct are to be observed by the prescribing states on the same footing as the rules of treaties or may be imposed only on signatory states agree to the perform. But it doesn't mean that no other entities or persons are the subjects of international law. Uh, defining the term international law the definition of uh, Professor Charles Hyde International law is body of law which is composed for its greater part of the principles and rules of conduct which state feels themselves bound to observe. Uh, Oppenheim, the definition of Oppenheim is a uh, very famous definition and it covers all the aspects of international law. Uh, according to that definition, the international law is body of rules or a set of rules that governs the relation between states, interstates state with uh, international institutes and also covers the uh, uh, and uh, regulates the uh, uh, entities entities and individuals uh, as such uh, professor stock has also uh, submitted a customary conventional and modern definition of international law which covers all aspects uh, according to that definition, international law is composed of customary and conventional rules considered to be binding upon the civilized states while conducting their relations with each other and include the functioning of international organizations and institutions, their relations with each other and states, and also relations of individuals with states and international institutions. Uh, then uh, comes who is the subject of international law. This is very interesting that who is the subject of international law. The entities, personalities or individuals regulated or subjected to international law are called the subject of international law. States and non-state actors, international organizations, institutions, multinational companies, international non-governmental organizations and individuals subjected to international law are the subjects of international law. They are legal personalities and have the rights and duties under the international law according to Dixon. A subject of international law is an individual body or entity recognized or accepted as being capable of possessing and exercising rights and duties under international law. A determination of an entity as a subject of international law. It is very interesting how an entity is determined under the international law as a subject. An entity is a subject of, subject of international law if it has international legal personality. In other words, subjects must have rights and powers and duties under international law and they could be able to exercise the rights and powers and duty. The same like principle has been recognized under, uh, under international covenant on civil and, civil and political rights. Uh, the same is also available under customary international law uh, and the uh, covenants are treated about torture and torture uh, and uh, torture on individuals and uh, slaves etc uh, hence uh, regarding a determination of a subject as international law there are few essential elements uh, which were established or described by dixon uh, dixon is of the view that subjects of international law must be able to first one sue in international and national courts and tribunal for enforcement of their rights Second one has the ability and power to enter into agreements which are binding under the international law, enjoy immunity from foreign courts jurisdiction and be subjected to obligation under international law. Uh, in quality of the subjects of international law, 
इट इज वेरी अस्टॉन्शनिंग एंड आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स आइडिया दैट ऑल द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ इंटरनेशनल लॉ आर अनइक्वल अंडर द इंटरनेशनल लॉ द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डिप्लोमेट्स एज द डिप्लोमेट्स हैव सर्टन इम्यूनिटीज अंडर द इंटरनेशनल लॉ एंड अदर इंडिविजुअल डजेंट हैव सेम लाइक एन इंडिविजुअल also cannot sue international court of justice directly but he has to approach to a states and he can uh, uh, approach international court uh, through his state this is also an unequal except under the international law for the subjects of international law theory of george gentum uh, george gentum what is george gentum it's related to the basically uh, crime of piracy according to general rule states are the only subjects of international law but exception to this is slaves and pirates they have rights and duties under the international law individuals who commit the offense of piracy your gentum on the high sea are liable as enemies of mankind to punishment by any apprehending state the referred to exceptions to the general rule have been reconciled but treating slaves and pirates your gentum as the objects and in no sense as subjects of international law it is also uh, recalled or uh, established or determined that uh, uh, this jury is the the so called rights and duties of slaves and pirates your gentum are technically those of states and states only according to this subject uh, the uh, slaves and pirates are subjects of international law uh they can be uh, treated uh, under international law and uh, the pirates can be uh, punished by any states but uh, 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 the concept is that uh, technically the this is also related to states uh, and states only but not to the individual but however uh, the individuals are uh, in the modern time the individuals are also the recognized subject of international law Uh, and inshallah uh, in a second part uh, we shall discuss the remaining uh, uh, portion of lecture and the subjects of international law in detail thank you very much